Hi, my name is Johnny Rose. I'm one of the founders of Coin Tech City, and this evening I'm here with the wonderfully named Peter Le Majurier, or one of the co founders of Cycle Alert, which is a cyclist safety device. Well, good evening, Peter. Good evening, Johnny. Um, well, first of all, thank you very much for just being here tonight. I guess the first question I have for you is, is what is Cycle Alert and what's the story behind it? Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, the story behind Cycle Alert uh, flows from a, an interview I heard on the radio, and that interview was um, with a driver who had uh, sadly been involved in a fatality with a cyclist. And um, at the time I thought, well, surely there is technology available within the cabs, within the vehicle, to detect cyclists. Um, and I've, I've uh, built a, a number of tech-based companies, and um, I'm keen on technology, and dug a little bit deeper and did a bit of research and found that actually the, there wasn't any technology at all. So we set about creating some, and um, we created Cycle Alert, and it's a, a device which communicates between cycle and vehicle and alerts the driver where the cyclist is in relation to the vehicle. Okay, so on the, in the way you describe it, there are sort of two parts. If there's the cyclist and the driver, what's the um, incentive of, or how have you gone about sort of reaching? I can imagine cyclists are very pro something like this. How have you found sort of reaching out or getting in contact or getting buy-in from the drivers? These great hulking, great lorry drivers and HGV vehicles. How have you sort of convinced them, or what's the? Well, that's a, that's a really good question, and uh, we actually. Uh, I knew I had buy-in from cyclists. Um, I didn't know that I had buy-in from uh, from hauliers and fleet operators and drivers. So uh, at prototype stage, I I took the product to the commercial vehicle show, which is a big show in Birmingham, full of trucks and truckers and big, big everything's big, and we we turned up with our little device and our pretty little cycles. Uh, we're not a bunch of cyclists but it felt like we were a bunch of cyclists. I gave a press conference to the commercial fleet media, mm -hmm. and um, it was, you know, well, they're either going to love me or lynch me. And uh, thankfully, thankfully, they, they loved it. They loved and it. Uh, they actually like the idea that, that this chicken and egg, if you like, but they love the idea that the cyclist has to buy into the concept and, and take a little bit of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so recently, what's been really interesting, just today I saw a press release going out that in conjunction with Croydon Council, you're hoping to make Cycle Alert available to the borough. So it would be really great if you could explain what that entails. So, for example, what, where cyclists can get, um, get Cycle Alert and um, how you sort of see it rolling out in the borough, what your plans are for Croydon. Sure, well, um, cyclists can um, obtain tags from uh, a number of sources. Uh, all of the uh, cycle shops uh, are stocking the tag and um, buying into the concept and really like it. We also distribute um, free tags to cycle clubs. Uh -huh. So we have a number of cycle clubs who are now um, signing up to that. Uh, the council have um, a few hundred tags, uh, which they are giving away through their own um, devices. And we also operate with our, our hauliers and fleet operators, uh, and they distribute tags to local schools, etc. Uh, we're also running a exchanging places where we invite cyclists to come and sit in a cab and oh, interesting. and yeah it's, it's really good for cyclists especially in the, they can see what a driver can and can't see yeah um, it's a real education uh, and we run those together with the Met Police uh, and Croydon Council uh, and we give away tags uh, there as well so that there's a number of ways they can um, obtain tags and uh, yeah, the future mm -hmm. well it, it's very much um, it's an org organic growth and we will see already seeing um, other hauliers coming on board saying uh, that's interesting uh, we like what you're doing and obviously we're hoping that uh, you know developers and the council will mandate and say if you want to come to our borough yep. then it's a safe borough for cyclists you have to have this fitted it's really interesting you talk about sort of coin or, or moving coin towards being a very cyclist friendly borough. Um, you and I were speaking just before this about some of the challenges towns or boroughs have, particularly in the case of you know Croydon where we have Westfield coming. So there's a lot of pressure to encourage people to take trips by cars. And so one of the questions which you answered really well, and I hope you can sort of replicate it again, is um, how 
best councils or all those sorts of bodies can work together to make their um their but their boroughs a, a more cycle friendly area and how they can what sort of how to make that happen in your opinion or where you've seen success well, elsewhere? It, yes, uh, and uh, I think you know you've hit the nail on the head. It's you know, working together. So I, I think certainly if you can uh, persuade developers, you know, Westfield developers and other large developers who are conducting big building projects to buy into the concepts of better and safer road use for pedestrians and cyclists uh, and a safer transportation system, then you're halfway there. And that makes uh, the council planners' jobs so much easier because uh, ultimately the developers have the money to be able to do this. Um, so you know that's uh, I'd say you know good keen developers who uh, yeah, realise the potential to them as well, uh, and I, I think that's that's another um, unique selling point to developers is by by de- re- developing a better transportation system for their customers mm-hmm. um, is only advantageous to them. Mm. And my final question is is um where can people find more about Cycle Alert online. So what's your URL or where's best to... Well, cyclealert.com, mm-hmm. um, Twitter, Cycle Alert, Facebook, Twitter, uh, <laughs> Facebook, uh, Cycle, Cycle Alert. Alert as well. um, we've, we've got a, a, a big following. Um, there's, there's lots going on. We run a number of these exchanging places, so come along to those. Yep. They're, they're, they're sort of monthly, weekly on occasions, but there's a calendar on the website, etc. Um, there's uh, we've got an abundance of friends and supporters and charities. And we do a lot of exhibitions and events, so there's you know there's a lot going on. Good work. Well, listen, well, Peter, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.